everyone. Welcome to our Build Quantities uh, webinar, our solution for users who are tired of working with Excel files and 30 years old estimating uh, software. Uh, my name is Evaristo Morata and uh, I am account uh, manager at Site Software Company. And today, together with uh, my colleague, Daniel Perez. Hello, Daniel. Hello, Evaristo. Thank you. Nice to meet you again. <laughs> nice to meet you again. So we will show you, all of you, all the audience, uh, how users can easily extract quantities from uh, from a project model in IFC format. So how do you feel, Daniel? Are you ready for for this uh, webinar? Yes, of course. I'm born ready, so I think it's time to let's get started. Uh -huh. And uh, if you don't mind, I would so I would share my screen uh, just to show you the the open beam quantities. So okay. give me a second. And, and my screen is, there we go. Uh, are you watching my screen right now? Uh-huh. And hear me properly? Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Evaristo, for the introduction. Hello, everyone, for coming here today. Uh, it's a pleasure. And as Evaristo said, we are here to show um, uh, a little bit of site software, more specifically about the open beam quantities. That is a tool, uh, like Evaristo said, um, for extracting quantities and creating bill of quantities based on beam models that have been defined using the IFC standard. But before, uh, I would like to show you the model that is, uh, sorry, is this one. This is the model that we are going to use here today. This is a model that we have um, built using the SIP architecture. That is another software that we have for free uh, in order to, to define uh, uh, the architectural model of any kind of building. Uh, and remember, all of the software that we have in SIP uh, are connected uh, through the BIM Server Center. And that is why we can use the Open BIM workflow and connect different software between them and get uh, different solutions. So once we have the model, it's time to move on to the Open BIM quantities. And just to save time, uh, I already have imported the model to the BIM, uh, from the BIM Server Center into the Open BIM quantities. Um, as the open beam quantity, due to the fact that open beam quantities is a software for creating uh, quantities, budgets, and so on, uh, the, uh, let's uh, get a look to the interface. What we have in the software is the, the model that we have imported and also all the different uh, construction elements that uh, we have created and introduced in the, uh, in the beam model with all the different information, all the properties uh, such as entity, uh, the type name. Here on the bottom left corner, we have all the technical parameters that this software reads uh, from the from the SIP architecture. And with all these properties are the ones that we are going to use in order to generate uh, our bill of quantities. So, 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 so uh, Daniel, mm -hmm. what you what you mean is uh, with this program is not necessary. It's not necessary to uh, work with another different one like Excel, like uh, uh, like uh, another 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 tool, different tool uh, out of uh, the, uh, the open one. That's right. Uh... That's right. I mean, we only, in order to generate the budgets and the bill of quantities, we only need to do three steps. The first one is to have a BIM model uh -huh. in order to measure that model. The second one, uh, the, well, the second step is going to be uh, to, to have a cost database. It doesn't matter uh -huh. where you get that cost database. And also, uh -huh. you have to set up the measurement rules that are going to be the logical rules in order to create a mapping between 
our BIM model and the cost database. So these are the three points, the three, the three necessary uh, issues uh, that uh, we need to, uh, to, to, to organize the work with this product. Right. Exactly, the three main points in order to, to work. And I promise this is a very intuitive uh, uh, software and very easy to learn and to use. I mean, uh, it's very simple. So now that we have imported the, the BIM model coming from the BIM Server Center, it's time to move on to the cost databases. Here on the top left corner, we have the cost databases menu. That This is kind of awesome because we have all the different cost databases that we have created and worked previously, and we are able to, to, to manage and still working with all those cost databases. However, this is a, a, a really cool tool that we have is that we are able uh, to import a BC3 file that is, the, that is the format of the cost database. This is the, the standard digital format for the cost databases, and we are able to create a new cost database. For instance, by uh, introducing just uh, a name, and that's it. So if we have um, imported that BC3 file, we would have that specific cost database in the middle of the, of the screen. But due to the fact that I already have um, um, a cost database already created, let's get a look of how you can introduce or create and also work with a cost database because this is very simple. Um, I told you before uh, that you can import uh, a cost database using a BC3 file. However, if you have your cost database uh, in a CSV file, you are able to do it from here. Mm. So this is quite tool, but uh, 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 this is quite an awesome tool because when you have two possibilities, well, uh, you have the possibility to export to import a PC3 cost database. You are also able to import a CSV file for the cost database and there is another third option that allows you to create or or to define the um, your your cost cost, the cost. exactly ah, from ah. the beginning so ah. this software allows you to divide your cost database and introduce the different work sections of the of this cost database you are also able to add items and also the concept of that item. And the items are very important and quite awesome because you are also able to, not only to set up the price of the element, the unit that you are going to use, you are also able to add some description, graphical information, and also uh, technical information, such as the CO2 emission for, the greenhouse effects, uh, get different reports based on, on, on this cost database and, and not only the prices. So it's quite awesome. However, uh, there is another good point that with the resources, we are able to define uh, the different resources available individually. And those resources can be uh, on classified labors, uh, the equipment such as mat uh, machinery, uh, aux auxiliary resources, and different materials. So it's kind of awesome and, and, and very easy to learn. So, so now. What I feel, what mm -hmm. Daniel, is uh, the first step using the, the program, uh, the, the open, open mean quantities, uh, is that. Uh, uh, you must create your cost database and uh, you have three options for this. Import V3, uh, import uh, CSV, uh, or create your own costs from, uh, uh, from the, the tools that the, the program offers. That's right? Yeah, exactly. The tools that we have up here and, and only by a click in that element, uh -huh. automatically the software will pop up a, a window that contains all the parameters that we have to fill up in order to, to create this resource. So 
now that we have finished with uh, our course database, uh, it's time to accept it, save it in our uh, save it in, into the software, and also come back to the to the model. Uh, I would like you to, to focus, remember uh, that we have all the uh, properties and all the, um, all the parameters coming from the uh, BIM model down here, just in the uh, bottom left corner of the screen of my screen. However, if we swap between uh, the different elements coming from the three dry diagram that we have here that can be the doors that reads all the elements, we are able to read all those properties. All right? So uh, just coming back to the column, all these properties are the ones that we are going to use in order to set up the measurement rules. All right? And this is going to be the third step in order to, to to create our our bill of quantities. Mm -hmm. So if we go to the set of measurement rules, maybe you are wondering what is a, a measurement rule. Uh, the measurement rules are those logical rules that we are going to use in order to let the program connect uh, an item from the cost database to an item. Or, or, or to a construction element from the mean, from the beam model that we want to to measure, and this is quite easy because uh, with the work section structure that is the one coming from the cost database, we are able to introduce or create those rules of measurement, and with the selection we are able to define using logical operators those filters in order to let the program know uh, the elements that we want to measure. And also, with the item tools, it's quite awesome because we are able to assign those uh, beam elements coming from the, uh, from the architectural model, we are able to assign uh, them to an item coming from our course database. We only have to filter all those elements in our course database, select the item that we want to, 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 to establish the link and add it to our, to, our, to our set of measurement rules. And it's quite easy and it works in a very intuitive way. So now that we have finished uh, defining our set of measurement rules, it's time to come back to the BIM model and remember, this is the last step that you have to do in order to get your bill of quantities. So if we go back, automatically the software already generates uh, that mapping and connect them, uh, uh, well, connect all the BIM elements coming from the uh, SIP architecture or from the BIM model to the, an item from the cost database. And now, we have measured all the different elements that we want to, to, to have in our budget uh, uh, from the BIM model. And as you can see here, we have different checks. And the green checks means that those are the elements that we have uh, uh, measured using a logical operation coming from the set of the measurement rules. So. Now that we have created that connection, it's time to generate the bill of quantities. And here on the second tab is where we are going to generate it automatically. So uh, first of all, um, this, software, this software allows you to, to define or to set up the different currencies available in, in the world. So. Uh, but just by a tip in the name, you are able to, to, to filter all the different currencies and set up that specific currency. Also, you are able to modify um, the, um, 
Yeah, the format of your uh, cost database oh, or your uh, or your bill of quantities, and also some percentages uh, that you want to add in depending mm -hmm. on your country, the location of your uh, building, and so on. Uh, you are able to type one here, for instance, let's place a 10%. And also, uh, if you want to add a specific tax, you are able to do it from here. Uh, that can be example uh, example tax. That could be another, uh, I don't know, 12%. So if I click on accept, now I have uh, customized my uh, bill of quantities. And now it's time to generate this bill of quantities because maybe you are wondering, is it difficult? Do you think it's difficult to generate uh, the bill of quantities, uh, Evaristo, or, or, or not? Well, I think it must not be very difficult because uh, now you want to, to connect, uh, you want to connect the, 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 the data uh, coming from the bill uh, of uh, yeah, from the course database, but uh, as you said, it's very simple because here on the top right corner, we have the two, uh, possibility to update the bill of quantities. We click there, we select uh, the course database that we want to, 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 to set up in order to update this bill of quantities. We click on accept and due to the fact that we have created the mapping, between our BIM model and our cost database, the software already reads all that information and generates the, the bill of quantities automatically. And we have here all the, all the items and also where is connected to the, uh, to, the, um, uh, to, the BIM, to the BIM model. So if you want to check, uh, where this uh, budget or where this information is coming from, you are able to go through the uh, through all the items, and the software will filter all the all the all the construction elements. Uh, for example, for example Daniel, if you want to if you want to go to the to the cost of uh, window, let's say you can see windows in the in the model. Yeah, exactly. So, so if that is another option. If ah. you you are able to manage the uh, the bill of quantities tree that is uh, he, just right here, and uh -huh. automatically the software will filter that element. But if you want to focus in one specific element that can be the railing, for instance, a uh -huh. window, the software will lead you to that uh, element. And also you are able to, ch to check all the, uh, all the connection and, and all the, well, and the, the logical rules and the formulas that you have uh, uh, set up in the measurement rules. So this is kinda awesome. And also all the taxes that we have uh, set up uh, before are the ones that are here. So, uh, the bill of the total bill of quantity is going to be uh, based on the amount of uh -huh. uh, of money that is going to cost you uh, this building, and also the final cost, the, fi the final bill of quantities based on the different taxes that you have set up. However, uh -huh. um, I, see there, I see there, for example, direct expenses. Which are the, I think it is the, the addition of all the of all the costs that I have mm -hmm. in the panel in the panel uh, uh, below, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we have also uh, contingencies, uh, ten percent, as you told me, and uh, uh, an example tax that we created before just to, to, to let you know that this is a software that you can customize. Uh, uh, just once we have the um, uh, our final uh, budget, the bill of quantities already created, now it's time to move on to the, um, 
to the to the reports. What can we get with this program, and how many reports and how details are are then? Uh, we have here the different reports that can be the quantities, the cost breakdown structure, um, the priced bill of quantities, the bill of quantity summary, specification, environmental impact indicators, depending on what I told you at the beginning, uh, coming from the cost database, uh, all those technical information related to, to the waste and the, uh, the greenhouse effects, uh, CO2 emissions, uh, you are able to get uh, those reports and all that information from here. You are also able to define what kind of report you want to introduce and you want to generate. And by clicking that specific report, click on accept, the program will generate that report in a couple of seconds. So if I scroll down a little bit, what we are going to have is exactly the results, the index that contains uh, all the information of the quantities from uh, the cost database and the BIM model um, with the items, the quantity, the description coming from that cost database and so on. Okay, so, I, see, uh, I see Daniel that these kind of reports, uh, they are not uh, very common yet uh, from uh, if you use uh, other different uh, or similar similar programs to uh, uh, open in quantities, uh, I think this is something very special. This, uh, what do you think? Yeah, of course it is, Varist, because um, having all those reports with only one click and and uh, all the uh, information uh, all together, it's quite impressive and and it's, yeah, yeah. it's amazing. This is up to you, yeah. and not only that. Evaristo, because uh, you can export all these uh, all these reports into any kind of format wow. here to whom it might need. So you can send it to the clients, uh, to your coworkers, to 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 I don't know to whom it might need, and and cool. share this information, print it, and and so on. This is a real great advantage uh, about using open uh, uh, to get the reports and to uh, be able to export uh, in uh, several formats for 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 clients. That's right. Exactly. That and sense. we and it only takes I don't know five seconds to generate and 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 to have oh. all the reports all together in your computer and to share with. Yeah, your coworkers with the clients, and it's kind of awesome. And the, uh, another good point is that once you uh, have your code database, once you have your set of measurement rules done, um, you don't have to repeat it because all those code databases and all those uh, measurement rules are the ones that are going to be saved in uh, uh -huh. in the software. And you only have to select them in order to, to let the software generate the mapping. Of so course, I can, you... I, can, I can imagine that how much time a user can save using this kind of tool. Because, exactly. Because, because uh, 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 maybe in, uh, uh, using another kind of program, uh, they must uh, have the, the, the resource of... Uh, uh, the Excel Excel files to make some estimation or, or calculations. In this case, yeah. the calculations are made directly by the program. That's right. Exactly, and not only that, you can also save time of learning this program that is going to take uh, 15 minutes to learn how to use it, how to set up or to import a, a cost database that you already have in your computer. So those oh. steps are the ones that you can skip and you will save a lot of time. Mm -hmm. And, and oh. also everyone can use this software because it's very intuitive, very easy to use. And there is only three steps in order to get the final bill of quantities. So, will you will you repeat the three steps for for, for people? Uh, yeah, of course. To sum up a little bit. Just to to wrap up, um, 
um, the first step is, of course, to have a BIM model, a BIM mm. model into the okay. BIM server center, and you have to import it into the software. That's right. Once you have your BIM model, it's time to move on to the second step, that is to have a cost database. And you have two possibilities. You have the possibility to import uh, a BC3 file uh, cost database. Okay. You also have the possibility to import a CSV uh, file, or you are also able to generate uh, your code database by your own by introducing uh, the work section, uh, the code, uh, the item. But this would be the. Uh, yes, to uh, create yourself, to create yourself yeah. by yourself uh, the, the codes. Exactly, and you can add and attach any kind of information, description, graphical information, any kind of documents, specification, or the technical document, uh, technical information in order to generate those uh, environmental uh, reports related to the greenhouse effects and, and CO2 emissions and so on. So, and so, now, yeah, go ahead. Third, third step? And the third step, um, and the third step is going to be uh, to set up the measurement rules. And the measurement rules, remember, are the ah. logical rules that uh, allow the program to connect the BIM model and an item coming from the cost database. And mm -hmm. with that connection, we are ah. able to, well, the software is able to take uh, that element from the from the BIM model and uh, attach it to an item from the cost database with only two clicks. Very clear. Yeah. And the yeah. software automatically generates the bill of quantities reports with that all that information. Uh -huh. Of course, you have the possibility to customize uh, your uh, general parameters of your bill of quantities. You are able to introduce any kind of uh, taxes. You are also, you have uh, some extra information or, or some extras uh, in, the, um, in the software. But uh, the main idea is this one. And uh, what, what I love, uh, I really love about this program is uh, the final result. I mean, uh, uh, the, the way that you select any uh, item of cost, and uh, you can see, and you can see the, in the in the in the graphic uh, in the, in the, of the model uh, every single every single uh, a cost uh, reflected in the in, exactly. This is what I mean. Ah, eh? oh, by a tipping, yeah. Ah, uh, sure. You, you can select from the from the from from the from the uh, uh, let's say from the list. Uh, on the on the on the on the left, and you can see exactly the element. On this is this this is something uh, which uh, identifies very well the element of course. Yeah, this, because this is like an eye candle to to all the to, exactly. to all the person that uses uh, this kind of software in order to to get the bill of quantities. Because uh -huh. if you want to know that an item has been measured, this is a good way to check it by uh -huh. clicking on that element, and the software will lead you to that. And also, it, you will be able to check the uh, the item, the, uh, the 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 measurement rule, and what you have measured with uh, the formula, the comments, and, and, and the values that you took in order to, to measure that element. OK, I hope that our audience uh, understands uh, everything you are explaining. And uh, of course, if there, are, if there is any question, do not hesitate uh, to uh, ask by, or even to write this by our chat or later to the, to the, to the email, by emails uh, to mm -hmm. our email that we will send. Okay. And uh, uh, what more can you tell us about uh, the program? Uh, That's it. This is how simple <laughs> it is and how powerful it, it is because you can generate you know, all what you need uh, in, I don't know, 50 minutes. Then this is quite awesome. I mean, there is nothing else. Of course. 
of course. <laughs> it's, um, it's, it's very easy and not necessary to use several programs. And uh, we are always uh, moving, uh, let's say, in the same way. So this is an advantage, uh, comparison. So and this is productivity, and this is a, a save of time, and uh, uh, it's a uh, real advantage. Use this. Uh, so I think that's all. Uh, I don't know if uh, uh, we have more time, but uh, this is uh, pretty much everything. Thank you, everyone, everyone for coming here with us today. It has been a, a pleasure. And I don't know, you have to add something else, Evaristo? No, for me it was so very clear and uh, I hope the uh, oral audience uh, have had the possibility of uh, learning a little bit of, uh, how this program works, uh, how, how easy it is to, 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 uh, to use uh, this program and uh, decide uh, in the future to, to work with this uh, so work from side. Okay, that's all from my side.